Gentrification and housing in the Bay Area. What is gentrification? Gentrification is the process of renovating a house or district so that it comforts the middle class taste. According to the researchers at UC Berkeley Urban Displacement Project, there is much more to gentrification than aesthetic changes. A process of neighborhood change that includes economic changes in a historically disinvested neighborhood by means of real estate investment and new higher income from residents moving in. Gentrification in the Bay Renters are usually hit the hardest by gentrification because when rent increases, tenants are often pushed out of their homes. The Bay Area is home to some of the highest rents and home prices in the nation. According to SF Gate Living Article Survey, some of these impacts research as far as Sacramento and Stockton through Oakland. Oakland was one of was the one gentrified at the fastest rate. Oakland in the 90s was a place of low interest due to the fact it felt deserted and not like home. Once streets started to get filled with restaurants and bars, companies would evict the lower income residents from their homes to seek their higher profit. Real estate agents are involved of doing practices called redlining to deny access to home from their homes to seek their higher profit. Real estate agents are involved of doing practices called redlining to deny access to home access of home loans to people of color and to this day research found that 83 percent of today's gentrifying areas in the east bay were considered hazardous why is it important it is important to understand what gentrification does to our neighborhoods of people of color many jobs pay minimum income and rent keeps getting expensive year by year it is a harder to sustain a living with bills, food, and high rent every month. Prices on general items that are a necessity keep rising in price year by year. Small business owners put up the pricing of the food or item they sell often due to rent increase, which makes it harder for them to gain anything from their establishment. There's also a big homelessness problem in an article from the Mercury News Estate Estimated that 25,951 people are living without homes in the Bay Area last year. Researchers with housing and real estate website Zillow calculate in a report on Tuesday as of November 27, 2018. The solution? We must focus on solving long-term homelessness rather than a one-night solution. Researching a project of starting affordable housing facilities just for the homeless. Some of the things that the city of Hayward is also doing is on January 14, 2019, Allied Housing, in partnership with their parent organization, Abode Services, submitted applications to construct a new 125-unit affordable housing development at 2595 Depot Road. Also, the co- the county of Alameda is exploring a potential 500 million housing bond to acquire and construct affordable housing units throughout Alameda County. Support home ownership programs for low-income residents provide housing re Habilitation for low-income seniors and people with disabilities.